Welcome to Beating Cancer Daily. Beating stage four cancer for 30 years still takes my breath away every time I say it. I'm Saren, founder of the Comedy Cures Foundation, and I hope you'll join me for just a few minutes daily for the next 365 days so we may laugh, learn, maybe cry a little as we live our best days beating cancer daily together. I just love birthdays and you are sharing my birthday with me. This is a 30 year milestone birthday because I was misdiagnosed 30 years ago and I was properly diagnosed 24 years ago and I was considered cancer free 21 years ago this July. How do you feel about birthdays? Did that change when you were diagnosed with cancer? I love them. I've always loved birthdays. I love to have people from all different eras of my life together on my birthday. And once I was diagnosed, they took on even a bigger meaning and a bigger significance and (laughs) bigger celebrations. Anyway, this is just another excuse for me to celebrate my birthday with you today and talk about some really interesting things that I discovered while I was on cancer treatment about my birthday. I'm a bit obsessed with this party, say, called Pump It Up, because they actually put a lot of facts about birthdays there. So I'm just going to summarize a few of them, but I love facts and their facts were super cool. So if you have a birthday coming up, you can share these cool facts at your birthday. So here goes. Supposedly, Birthdays really didn't start getting momentum until calendars were created because it was really difficult for people to mark the passing of time. So supposedly there is a mention of Pharaoh's birthday in 3000 BCE, but it doesn't refer to the actual birth, but to the birth or crowning as a god which I think is pretty interesting. So supposedly the Greeks borrowed this somewhat from the Egyptian tradition, and they felt that when birthdays or major change days happened, that evil spirits could rush in. So they lit candles in response to this, like bringing light into darkness so that these celebrations were almost as a form of protection. So family and friends would gather around the birthday person to protect them from harm. And so good cheer, good thoughts, singing, wishes, gifts, all of this was to ward off evil spirits. Even the noisemakers that we associate with celebrations were a way to scare off unwanted evil. At first, Christianity did not endorse this whole concept of birthdays, and they thought of these celebrations as something evil. And it wasn't until the fourth century that they stopped thinking this way and began celebrating the birth of Jesus also known as Christmas. I'm Jewish and I don't really have any data here on what the original Jewish thought was on birthdays, but I do know now that we don't believe in blowing out birthday candles because we believe that candles are to put light in the world and that they shouldn't be blown out, creating less light in the world. I also know that it is very common on a birthday of a Jewish person for that person to give blessings to everyone they come in contact with. Supposedly on that day, you have the ability to be more connected and that you can give 
really powerful blessings to other people. If you know the tradition of how birthdays evolved in your culture, I would love to know it. So go to the Comedy Cures Foundation and hit the record button or the contact button and let me know. I'm just fascinated. Back to what I was learning about birthdays. So we know that cakes are so much associated, at least in America, with birthdays. And there was a German bakery in Philadelphia when I was growing up and I loved their cake. And there is a German bakery in Manhattan and I love their cake too. So I think the Germans have birthday cakes down and it makes sense because German bakers are attributed with creating the first birthday cake and putting the candle one for each year plus one for the hope of living at least one year more, then blowing out those candles was a big part of the celebration. So one for each year you're alive and then one for hope of living another year. I came from a family where we didn't just have a birthday, we had a birthday month. And that meant cakes and cupcakes and cookies and more birthday cakes and birthday brownies. Like I can't even explain to you how much sugar got ingested around a birthday month, which is probably one of the reasons I got cancer because we were a big dessert family. (laughs) Now, I know that's very controversial. Some people say, you know, sugar can definitely cause cancer and other people say it doesn't cause cancer. But I am telling you, the year I was diagnosed with cancer, I think I had seven birthday cakes and I ate them all. I couldn't eat enough birthday cakes on my birthday. (laughs) And I don't want to send up an alarm about desiring sugar, but I'm just telling you as much as I enjoyed desserts before I got cancer and before I was diagnosed, the year I was diagnosed with cancer, I honestly devoured all my cakes. I didn't even want to share them with anyone. Now, when I was a little girl, my father gave me a crown on my birthday, like a real crown, not like the little party crown that you get at the store, but like a real crown. He loved crowns. And so (laughs) every birthday, he put this crown on my head And it was just a really fun tradition. But what I learned is that the crown probably came from the fact that nobility only celebrated birthdays for a very long time. So a birthday was associated with this imagery of a crown. And somehow my dad, who was very eccentric, thought that a little kid should have a crown for their birthday. And so I have such fond memories of him birthday after birthday, placing that crown on my head, loving cakes, loving dessert. And as you know, I was raised by a single dad. So that is a really positive memory for me. Anyway, you know that I have to do a couple birthday jokes because it wouldn't be beating cancer daily if I didn't do a little of my fun, silly humor. So here goes. Did you know that birthdays are good for your health? It's a scientific fact. People who have more birthdays live longer. <laughs> Here's the birthday riddle. How is a birthday cake like baseball? Both need batters. (laughs) Why did the mushroom always get invited to birthday parties? Because he was a fun guy. (laughs) I'm just so happy 
that I could share my birthday with you. I am so grateful that I've been left here to have another birthday. And if you are going through cancer treatment, hang in there. Let's get you to your next birthday with the best quality of life. And just think about all of these funny things that have led up to how we celebrate birthdays today. And I'm sure you have many more to share with me what your rituals are. And let's pray that on your birthday, you have a full and complete healing because I'm allowed to give blessings today, that you have a full and complete healing that all your medicine should work, all your treatments should work, and that we should celebrate your birthday without visible disease year after year, decade after decade. I'm really blessed to be here, and I'm really blessed that you listen to Beating Cancer Daily every day. Thanks so much. You are my best birthday present ever. I hope you have a lot of laughter if you're sharing your birthday with me today. And if you're not, I hope you have a lot of laughter anyway. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you guys know this, but Beating Cancer Daily is a listener and donor-supported podcast and community. So if you have some extra change... I'd love you to go to ComedyCures.org and make a donation today of whatever level is comfortable for you. And it will be tax deductible to the extent allowed by law because Comedy Cures is a nonprofit 501c3 organization founded from my chemo chair, April 1999, and we've been going strong ever since. So please consider making a donation today and help our community and this podcast thrive. Thanks so much. See you tomorrow. Guess what time it is. It's time for me to read the disclaimer. Beating Cancer Daily and the Membership Circle are not in lieu of medical advice or treatment. They are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your healthcare team to review your best strategy. Thanks for listening.